Hello friends, welcome to Coding Host YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain you a program pangrams. So, what is a pangram? So, in a string, if we have all the 26 alphabets from A to Z, so that string is a pangram. So, you can see that we have a string S. So, we have to check that if that string is a pangram or not. First, I want to show you the SI codes of characters. So, you can see that we have SI codes for every character and letter so you can see that for capital a it is starting from 65 it is ending here at 90 up to capital z and for small a it is starting from 97 and it is ending here at 122 for small z so how we can use this si course for checking that if this string is a pen gram or not suppose we have a character care c equal to m I will take a variable int n equal to c so now in the int n variable we are storing this character c variable and after that if i want to print this n variable so let's see what we will get in the output in the output we are getting 109 so 109 is the si value of this character m so you can see here 109 is the si value of m so now let's write the program for this so we know that for small a the index will start from 97 and it will run up to small z which have si value 122 so in this program we only have to find that if this string have all the characters from a to z so we do not have to check that whether they are lower case or upper case so whether we can make all the character as upper case or whether we can make all the character as lower case we can use a array of integer which will have only 26 indexes from that 26 indexes what i will do is if we find any character we will mark that index as one suppose if we are checking both larger and smaller type of letters then we have to make a larger array of size 52 because we have to check for larger values separately 26 values for larger and 26 values for smaller so then the array size will become 52 we can only take array of size 26 so we can make this string in lower case because here i will check the index from 97 to 122 i will take a integer array int a equal to new int 26 so you can see that this integer array will start from index 0 and it will end at index 25 so from index 0 to 25 how we will mark the indexes like 97 to 122 i will explain you later first we have to make our string to lower case so s equal to s dot to lower case and after that i will take a for loop for int i equal to 0 and and i less than s dot length and i plus plus after that i will take a care variable so care c equal to s dot care at i so you can see that in this string there is also a space or maybe there can any symbol but we only have to find for a small case letter so what i will do is i will take a if statement if c is larger than or equal to a and and c is less than or equal to small z so now it will only check for the letters starting from small a and ending up to small z after that I will take a variable int n equal to c and after that n equal to n minus 97 then a of n equal to 1 so this is the logic here from every index we have to subtract 97 suppose we are finding a so a is at index 97 but in the array we do not have 97 right so we will subtract 97 from it so 97 minus 97 will become 0 so now we will get index 0 for this first character a so we will mark this index 0 as 1 so you can see that in this for loop we will mark index for every letter after that i will take a for loop for int i equal to 0 and i less than a dot length and i plus plus so you can see that in this array we only have 26 indexes so 26 index for every alphabet from a to z so if this string s is a pangram it's mean that every index value of this array a 
will have one so in this for loop we will check that if any index is not equal to one so it's mean that this string s is not a pan gram so after that i will take a if statement here if a of i is not equal to one so we will print here not pan gram and after that i will use here a return statement so this program will stop here and outside of this for loop i will print here pan gram if this if condition will remain false it's mean that all the index value will have one in this array so this string s is a pan gram so now let's run this program so you can see that in the output we are getting pan gram so if you see the working of this program you can see that we have a string s and after that we will make this string as lower case a will also become in lower case then we will make a integer array of size 26 then we will start a for loop so this for loop will start from index 0 so at index 0 we have this a character in this s string yes then we will check that if this character is larger than or equal to this a character and and less than or equal to z so this a is equal to a right this if condition is right so in this int and variable we will store this character c so you can see that si value of this a is 97 so that's why in the int and variable we will get 97 but size of this array is only 26 so because of that we have to subtract 97 from this n so 97 minus 97 will become 0 so n will become 0 so at index 0 in this array we will store 1 after that index will increment so i will become 1 so you can see that after a we will have space but in this if statement we are only checking for lowercase letter so for space this if condition will not execute and then i will increment so i will become 2 so then we have this letter q so for this letter you can see that si value is 113 so 113 minus 97 will become 16 so in this array at index 16 we will store 1 so we have marked the index for this alphabet q so same like this we will mark every index in this array so you can see that if this string s is a pan gram so it's mean that all the 26 values in this array will get one after that in the next for loop we will check that if any index value is not equal to one so if any index value is not equal to one so that time we will print a note a pan gram and we will return our program so this program will stop here and if not when this for loop will break in the last this statement will execute and in the output it will print pan gram so you can see that this string is a pan gram so that's why in the output we will get pan gram suppose from this string i will remove this s now let's run this program so now you can see that in the output we are getting not pan gram because now one value of this array don't have one and because of that now this string is not a pan gram anymore so the time complexity of this program is big of n because here we are only using single for loops and the space complexity of this program is big of 26 because here we have taken an array of size 26 for every alphabet so thanks for watching